This week I want to talk about whiplash. So a whiplash is an injury that occurs when our body is suddenly forced backwards or forwards. It's the most common injury that happens during an automobile accident and it's one of the leading causes of chronic neck and back pain. So while a, a small fender bender may not seem like a big deal, new research has shown us that even small car accidents can result in significant injuries. It's the violent forces that occur during an accident that can cause damage to the discs in our spine, which we talked about last week. It can damage ligaments, tendons, uh, and even the vertebrae of the spine or the bones in the back themselves and this can all occur even at low speeds most of these injuries happen when our head or happen because i should say our head is whipped forward and backward very quickly and it's this rapid motion rapid change in movement of the neck that results in torn ligaments and injured discs so symptoms such as neck pain back pain headaches confusion and even depression can indicate that we've suffered a whiplash injury from from a car accident or whatever the thing is, is you may not even immediately notice uh, pain right away because of the adrenaline spike that usually happens at the time of an accident or an injury. So for many people, these symptoms develop over a few hours or even a few days and go unnoticed until the initial shock of that car accident has worn off. It is super smart. We highly recommend that we get a complete evaluation after a car accident to minimize the risk of long-term pain, even if it was a mild accident. Getting that right care at the right time can make a huge difference into your ability to heal quickly. Again, remember, even small car accidents can cause injuries. So if you've been involved in an auto accident, be sure to reach out to our office as soon as possible possible so we can help you help you get back on the road to relief. Next week we're going to dig into whiplash even a little bit deeper. We'll talk about how long whiplash symptoms could last. So we'll see you next week.